Hello, 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 my babies. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? I miss you guys so much. I miss you guys so much. So today's reading is going to be about um, who wants to hit and why. I'm so sorry it's so late because my camera fucking cut my, my uh, phone cut off because I didn't have enough storage, which was, you know, I knew that was going to happen. But you know how you just get happy with downloading shit to your phone? I just was like, you feel me, downloading shit and not really looking at it. So I already knew that was going to happen. But anywho, um, yeah, so that's why the, the piles are already up there um, because I, ha I was already running a video and it cut off at four minutes because I didn't have the space. But I just emptied my space so that way I can have the space. You get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying. So, right now, um, what was I gonna say? So right now, I'm um about to chillax, um, and work on some projects and shit right now. Um, after I get off the reading with you guys today, I had an event for you. I should probably do my dishes, but I probably won't. How are anyway? How are you guys doing today? Are you guys doing well? Are you guys happy? Are you guys healthy? Like, let me know. Talk to me. You know, I really appreciate you guys or whatever. But we shall see. Oh, I didn't mean to blow that candle out. I miss you guys though. I really did. I don't like when I don't read because I'll be missing like, you know, my family and my, my connections. But sometimes I do like when I don't read because I feel like a little bit more energetic and I don't like um forcing myself. But I do miss you guys. This is my favorite place to be, I promise you. <laughs> Even though you guys can't talk back to me, this is my favorite place to be. So let's see. Uh let's see what we got here. Let's see if they want to hit or not. So definitely, this person definitely, okay, so pile number one, first of all, pile number one, you got somebody who wants to spend that money, spend that money in the bank. Do you hear me? Like this person, like you got, this person's thinking like, yeah, I definitely want to hit, I definitely want to be with this person, I definitely want to fuck, I definitely want to do all that shit, I hope that they let me do it, and stuff like that. So this, this is a type of, um... If you was ever trying to hit a link or you was ever trying to finesse, this is a person that you can do it with, right? But this person, I don't know. This person feels like they, this person would do anything to hit you. This person would spend any type of money. Honestly, I think that this is somebody who probably buy y'all, who either offer to buy y'all lunch every day or buys y'all lunch every day. Somebody like that or wants to take y'all out to dinner and stuff like that. Honestly, though, I think that you guys don't even be worried about this person. I feel like you like playing with this person. You probably like flirting with this person and stuff like that. Um, this person could be married or something like that. But you know for a fact, like, you're never, like, I feel like, because with her face, it's like, she she's never really, like, taking him seriously. Like, it's a joke. You know what I'm saying? So, whoever this is that wants to hit, definitely, um... They definitely want to hit you because they they feel like you're like a delicacy. Like you know how, uh, all right. So you know how like a, not everybody can get a good steak. Like you can get a steak. Everybody can get steak, right? But like filet mignon, it's some people who's never who never had filet mignon at a restaurant or anywhere because they can't afford filet mignon. You get what I'm saying? So um, because of that, um, that shit funny. I'm not going to say that, though, because that's going off topic. But, um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, so some people never have, like, flaming Young or whatever. So, to you, you're this person flaming Young. They never had somebody like you. They never thought they could ever get somebody you. They probably can't get nobody like you. That's why they willing to do whatever, because you're probably like, man, boy, get the fuck out of here. Like, you're not it. Or girl, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what is it? I don't know what's equivalent to, like, a girl, a boy, get the fuck out of here for a guy. Because, like, guys, y'all pretty much date anybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, well, I don't want to say not date anybody. Y'all pretty much will fuck anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it got to take a lot for a guy not to fuck you like a lot you know what i'm saying so i don't know but whoever this is like you're not worried about them you don't see them like that at all 
but they definitely want to hit you because they know that it's not easy and they know that it's not something that they can get every single day i don't wonder why this guy is so protected though that's why I feel like this guy is in a relationship because with this armor on, I feel like this person is probably fucking married. This this is giving like co-worker that's married that flirts with you at work type of energy. That's what this is giving. This is giving, oh, look at that car. Uh-uh. It's lit up here. It is lit. Damn, let me be careful for you to shut me the fuck down. <laughs> right so yeah this person wants to hit because they feel like they're not you're something they're not supposed to have so whoever this is is married or in a relationship or something or if for some reason this shit's oh i heard it could be somebody cousin yo that's crazy that's nasty but basically what i'm seeing is basically this whoever this is they feel like they want to hit you because they feel like it's it would be a it would be a um it would be an honor to hit you, okay? It would be an honor to hit you. So my thing is this. Make sure that you, um, I don't know. I still want to fuck with this person because I think this person, this person is not supposed to be fucking with you. This person is married or have a relationship. And it's like, it got three cups here. So this person's with somebody and then there's you and they want to be with you. But I feel like they want to, like, they want to be, I uh, that's all right. I'm a, I'm a, we, we will on the show. It's side bitch energy. They trying to make you they side bitch. I don't feel like this person is going to leave their wife or leave their girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever they with, but they would like to have sex with you, right? They want to have, they want to have sex with you in private. They just want, they want to know what the experience is like. You get what I'm saying? They don't want nobody to know that they're having sex with y'all. They, they want to be, they want a sneaky link with you, right? You're like a fucking fantasy with this person. This person thinks, this person thinks about pleasing you all the time. This person thinks about, this person has dark thoughts about pleasing you every then they fucking in front of the cat that's crazy right they uh they want to uh they think about um uh, having sex with you all the time and stuff like that like they have these dark thoughts like this person this is the type of person that could literally be talking to you and like be looking like maybe you're talking they're looking at you and they're like damn i wish i could put my dick in her mouth or like damn i wish i could make her scream or like damn like he don't even know what how bad, how bad i would ride it like how good i would ride it he don't know he don't know what i would they say like they really think like that like that's why i feel like this is the person that you probably see every day this is a person that you probably um my sister's husband what what are you talking about but this is probably some this is probably somebody who this is best this is definitely somebody who's not supposed to be fucking you this is somebody who's not supposed to be thinking about fucking you like not in like a creepy type of way but like in a i got a boyfriend or girlfriend type of way and i'm and this they're they're basically a cheater they basically want to cheat and if you gave them the opportunity i feel as though they would but they don't want to cheat and be like they're but they're not like a hurtful cheater if that makes sense you know how like some motherfuckers don't care if they cheat and they like we're, we're uh, serial cheaters meaning like they're like they're like serial cheaters meaning meaning um they're like serial cheaters meaning like hey i'm a um what's i gonna say they're like serial cheaters, meaning like they're they're gonna they're gonna um they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna fuck they're gonna fuck you, right? They're gonna fuck you. But at the same time, they don't want nobody like they're okay, they're gonna cheat, but they don't want uh they don't want their partner to know. You ever heard like you ever uh, I'm sorry guys, I mean all right, let me slow down. Somebody said take your time. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is this. You ever had you ever found the people that's like they cheat and they don't care if their partner find out or they know if their partner find out their partner not gonna leave them anyway? Like this is not that type of person. Like they're not an asshole cheater. Like they're not like, oh, if I break your fucking heart, I break your fucking heart. Like you get what I'm saying? Like this is a these are this is the type this is the type of person that's like, I don't wanna break your heart. You get what I'm saying? Hopefully I don't break your heart, but if I do break your heart, I do break your heart type of energy. You get what I'm saying? I don't necessarily like it, but I'm not necessarily upset at it either because they're not bad right so what would happen if you did what would happen if you did uh what would happen if you did let this person hit right uh this person would end up leaving you and going back with their person so you would they would you you would what basically watch them leave you because they love their person they want to be with their person they care about their person but you're a fantasy to them you're something they want to be with you're something they don't have you're probably not as quote unquote attractive as their partner that they're with so you're going to be like a fantasy of a dream fulfillment so yes they're going to go after it but they're going to go back to what they love they're going to go back to what they're what stay with them so i wouldn't even fuck with it because it's end up what and at the end even if you even if you fuck them all crazy and you spend all their money up and got them paying your bills or whatever like that's cool you get what I'm saying? Like that's that's cool and that's great, but like at the end of the day, 
at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's giving like, you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, it's it's, it's giving like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's not it, at the end of the day, it's giving like no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's giving like you're gonna be left like I don't some of you guys might be heartbroken, some of you guys might not give a fuck because they're like he not he don't give a fuck. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be like, damn, they just side bitched me and left and went back to their wife. You get what I'm saying? So you, you don't want that karma on you, first of all. And then second of all, it's like you're better than that pile number one. So but I don't know. Do what you want. Because I'm for I'm for us getting our bills paid too. <laughs> so do what you got so do what you want to do, okay? Um but uh, with that being said, that is your reading pile number one. I hope it resonates. If it does, do let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a person, read that information in the description box below. If you're interested in entering my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'm going to move on to my next pile. So, your next car out is, your first car out is the queen. Queen of Swords. How many queens? I think this is the four, the um, Queen of Swords. Oh, is that another girl? That's some girl on girl action. Whoever this is, even if you're a guy, I know y'all be homophobic as hell, guys. But this is somebody who is the same sex. Some of this, some people, honestly, whoever this is, this honestly, oh, this, oh, this got me hot and bothered. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hot, I feel it. Like, you listen, you literally, even if you're another female, let me tell you this, you be having that girl pussy throbbing. You hear me? Throbbing. Like, I don't know if you guys go to the club or like be around each other a lot with the dancing and the grind. It's something about the way you dance, something about the way your body curves. This person really likes looking at your bodies and your curves. That's why I say it might be somewhere where you wear, like, where y'all go out. It might be somebody you go out with a lot. So this could be a best friend. This could be somebody's sister. I don't feel like it's somebody related to you but it's definitely a female that you're around a lot i feel like that female might be a bit younger than you even, even if it's just like about a couple days a couple months a couple weeks but this person definitely like you they got mommy issues they got lesbian thoughts they got uh homosexual male thoughts so like if you're a guy it's another guy right um and if you're a, a girl it's another girl and this is a, a friend that you're around um this is a furniture around. However, this person has this this person wants the scissors with you. So this this is a female. They want to sort. They want to sort. They want to sword fight with you if you're a guy, and they want to scissor with you if you're a girl. You get what I'm saying? So this person definitely wants to do that. Um, but this person is scared to tell you that because they 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 fear that it's going to like end with you, like not want to be their friend no more. But this person then wanted to wanted to please you. This person wants to please you. This this is this is this could also be a friend that's been there to, through a lot of breakups and stuff like that because then a person with a lot of breakups and stuff like that um a lot of breakups and stuff like that um they they might see like oh they probably think like oh i can do so much better than these fuck ass guys that she messed with i can do so much better than these fuck ass girls or whatever she's messing with some of you guys also might just be lgbt community and they whoever you're asking about think that you can do a lot better than who the fuck you be fucking and they don't like that shit and they wish that you would just give them a chance but they don't want to ruin your friendship then the next card you have out is the um the tower card so what i'm seeing is this person really believes that you belong you will that you you um you deserve pleasure these people this person feels like they want to give you that pleasure but they feel like they I, they feel like you don't even notice them they feel like you you treat them more as a friend they feel like you um act like more of a friend with them and i feel like you do because they are your fucking friend i feel like this person never really said nothing to you about it like they might show little things and and they might flirt and say like little cute stuff to you but you're not thinking much of it because you're th you're not thinking much of it because you're thinking about you're thinking about uh you're thinking about mostly, you're mostly thinking about, um, you're mostly, you're mostly thinking about, um, You're mostly, you're mostly thinking about, you're 
you're mostly thinking about like they're like I don't know they're like they're mostly thinking about other people but like they're not really thinking about you you get what I'm saying I'm like, well no like it's the opposite that's how because I'm tapping into their energy and they're trying to come in but like I, I'm trying to tell you how they feel but they're trying to tell you they're telling me how you feel about them and I'm not asking that but I guess this is what you need to know they they feel like you you're feeling like they're just a friend and they're feeling like you don't even notice them and they're feeling like you can have the best life you can ever imagine with them and they can fuck you so good and love you so good but like you you kind of don't want it you kind of don't notice it you focus on other shit right they feel like you're always running away with someone else this person like with this snake watching this um this girl go away with this night like i feel like this is a friend that's they're always watching you in and out of relationships and jumping into relationships and jumping on dicks and jumping off dicks and and hopping in the bed with females and hopping out of bed with females or whatever what have you but it's like and some of you yeah no it's the opposite sex but it's like it's like some of you guys don't even like even notice them and they feel like you keep leaving with all these people just to come back and then like every time they see you with somebody else it kind of really hurts them because it's like damn i can never get this person i can never be with this person and shit like that but they're too scared to tell you like they're too scared to tell you like hey i want to um i want to be with you and stuff like that they're too ashamed to tell you because they're supposed to be your friend y'all supposed to be just platonic and they don't want to ruin that but at the same time they feel like they can fuck you a lot better and they can fuck you good um they can fuck you real good because they actually care about you and they know everything about you and maybe when you guys are having bad sex you go and tell them in the group touch and they're like man i wouldn't did that i would have ate your ass <laughs> you know what i'm saying this but this person so what would happen if you did let them fuck they so sold me they y'all would have a bomb ass relationship y'all would have bomb ass sex y'all would have bomb ass everything so i don't know which way you're trying to swing or whatever but i think because this person already has an emotional connection to you and you got if you guys were to take it there with whoever this person is i'm sure whoever you're thinking about that's who it is um if you guys were to take it there and create a sexual bond it will turn into a spiritual one because they already have emotional bonds. They already love you as a person and they're already in love with you. You get what I'm saying? However, they're already in love with you and they already love you as a person. However, they're not... Um they can't... Right. However, they're not with you. Right? You get what I'm saying? But with that being said, that is your reading pile number um, two. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. Oh, fuck it. Uh, post a video if you're interested in a person reading that information in the description box below if you're interested in entering my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below i'll be choosing my next winner at 20 uh what is it uh 47 subscribers yeah i think it's 47 subscribers i'll be choosing the one because now i'm done about every thousand subscribers instead of every 100 subscribers because there's way too many subscribers so every uh thousand so 4700 subscribers and one the next one I'll, one I'll be doing away my next free reading Really, I should do 5,000 subscribers. I might do 5,000. Yeah, I'm going to do at my at 5,000 subscribers. I'll be giving away another giveaway, okay? So, that's what I'm going to do. 5,000 subscribers because these hundreds be coming in too fast, which I'm thankful for, but, you know. So, let's see what we got here. Um, Pile number three, who wants to hit and why? So, your first card, uh, you have, oh, I've never seen this card before. You have the Justice card. I already know what this is about. And then you have the four of wands. So who wants to hit you, pile number three? All your exes. All your dead bodies. <laughs> All your exes. Every single last one of your exes want to hit you. Every single last one of your exes want to hit you. I mean, all of them. All of them want to have sex with you again. All of them. But they feel like you're moving on to a more stable place in your life. They feel like you're moving on to somewhere. Like, people feel like you don't be letting nobody hit. But, like, everybody want to hit you. Everybody who's been with you want to hit you. Like, all your exes want to come back and they want to fuck you again. Whether you're a male or a female, they trying to get that... See, they're trying to get that no no cat, right? They're trying to get up in there. And they feel like you have options, but people feel like you have so many options. Like, it's so you People feel like you can literally you can fuck anybody. Like, everybody want to fuck you, pile number three. Like, 
every fucking body wants to fuck you and anybody wants to fuck you everybody and anybody want to fuck you so very bad and they want to fuck you right now they want to fuck you right now you hear me and but they want to fuck you right now i want to fuck you so bad because they feel like you have so many you're they feel like you're so very beautiful so very handsome you have everything that anyone could ever want and you're very stable it's like it's like a it's like a warm comfortable home it's everything you could ever want you know what i'm saying it's a beautiful garden outside the home is stable it's probably food in there it's probably really warm in there it's probably really comfortable beds you get what i'm saying so you're you're very you're you're pretty much everything that anybody can ever want and you have a lot of options you get what i'm saying so because you have so and you have a lot of options so it's like all your options want to fuck you and everybody who already fucked you want to fuck you but you're you're choosing not to fuck anybody like you know what i'm saying some of you guys might be celibate or just not in the mood to fuck because sometimes it be like that sometimes you be in the mood to not fuck somebody and stuff to not fuck people stuff like that People want to get into your house. This is so petty. What do you want to hit? <laughs> yo, I fucking love tarot, yo. Tarot is crazy. Like, who will be all people got a lot of shit to say about tarot? Like, oh, they're just cards and shit like that, bro. This should be telling a story. When I tell you this should be telling a story, this shit tells a story. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing about this. This should be coincidences, right? And the fact that y'all be resonating, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit, where'd my card go? This shit crazy, because I'm about to tell y'all how this motherfucking line up right here, right? This shit is motherfucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, people want to come. People, why do people want to hit you? Because people want to get in your house. They know you got, listen, they know you have something in that house. They know you got good shit, a lot of good shit in that house. They want to come and travel and get inside that house. They want to come put that stick inside your house. They want to come, they want you to park your stick inside their house. They know it's a lot of good stuff in that house that you got in between your legs. You get what I'm saying? They want to get in it and they want to live there. They know that it's a comfortable home and they want to stay there. All right? People don't want to just fuck you and leave. People want to keep you. People want to be able to tell you i fuck this person people want to be able to tell people i fuck this person if you want to be able to tell you i want to tell people i've been with this person like you are fucking literally a trophy and i feel like it's because you haven't fucked anybody like you don't you're not somebody who fuck everybody and anybody right you're not somebody who fuck everybody and anybody so to to say i got to fuck her to say i got to to say i got to fuck her to say i gotta um or to say i got to fuck him or whatever it's like <coughs> It's like, damn, you got next to this person? Like, that's how people would think. Like, damn, you really got next to this person? That's crazy, right? Then you have the, um... Then you have the, the spade... The, um... The spade sword... The, uh... The swords. The ten of swords, right? So, what I'm seeing... What I'm seeing right here... Pile, what I'm seeing right here, pile number, um... Three. What I'm seeing pile, right here, pile number three is this... A lot of motherfuckers right here is just like a lot of motherfuckers right here is 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 giving is giving very much um it's giving very much um people feel like they're beneath you so why do people want to fuck you why do people want to hit because they feel like they're beneath you they feel like by fucking you they will come up to your level like cause even if they make more money than you even if they're like quote unquote more popular than you people see you and they're like damn who is that you know what i'm saying it's like it's it's like sometimes people be thinking like money and status makes a person money and status is not what makes a person how somebody feels about themselves is what makes a person and these people that want to a lot of people see you and see your confidence and see your strength whether you're a man or a woman and they're like damn i'm not like that i wish i could be like that i want to be that type of person i want to you know be confident in myself and because they're not like that and they see that you are and so effortlessly they feel beneath you immediately even if they're quote unquote better than you have more money than you or whatever you get what i'm saying so they feel like fucking somebody like you or being or having somebody like you in on their um on our team makes them better so that's why they want to fuck you because they feel like they're bringing you to their level okay let's see what else we got you have playfulness so with the playfulness cards what i'm saying with this is if you let this person fuck i feel like you will love them i feel like you will love them um i feel like well this it's, it's not even one person it's a lot of motherfuckers that want to fuck but let, let me say this i feel like if you let somebody hit you'll fall in love with them all right you'll because i feel like that i feel like you know what this this makes sense right because i feel like this is why you guys don't be fucking because when you do start fucking you be you have a tendency to fall in love with motherfuckers especially if it's good especially if the pussy good or the dick good you have a tendency to fall in love with motherfuckers and maybe right now you're not trying to fall in love and you know how you get 
and that's okay. Like, you know how you get, and you're like, man, I know how I get, so I'm not even start, trying to start fucking with somebody, because if I start fucking with somebody, I'm really going to be fucking with somebody, and if they're not fucking with me, it's going to drive me crazy. You get what I'm saying? So if you were to let somebody hit, I feel like you would be in a relationship as soon as you let somebody hit. As soon as you get some good dick or get some good pity, you're going to be straight in a relationship, okay? So if that's not what you want, I would just keep being celibate. I would just keep downing people or whatever until you're ready. But I's telling you right now, you, your body literally been begging for it. So you're going to be attached. And it's going to be fun. It's okay to be, it's going to be fun, okay? But with that being said, that is your reading card number three. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can, um... Be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information in the description box below. If you're interested in some of my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next reading.